Hello my beautiful MK love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join our beautiful MK love fam. So this week is a very interesting week. So this week we actually go through three different sets of energy. So we go into Monday already in the first quarter of the moon, which basically means that's the action. So at the start of the week, you're working to and take inspired action on whatever your intentions you set at the new moon. So as you take action, then you go through to Wednesday, which is when we have the give us moon. And that is a time where we need to trust the universe. We need to surrender to the process and trust that everything is working out for our highest good. Then on Sunday, um, this is where we have the full moon in 10 degrees of Libra. Now this is basically, Libra is basically a sign where it's all about relationships. And this could be quite a difficult time for some of you. This is actually a blue moon and blue moons occur when you have two full moons in a month. And we actually had no full moons in February because it was cut a little bit short. So this is a, a powerful, powerful time coming through to Sunday. Um, it's all to do with relationships and uh, yeah, so I'm very interested to see what comes up with the cards. Oh my God, I forgot to show you the cards. <laughs> So Monday is the action stage. You can see it's the first quarter. Then Wednesday we move into the trusting phase and then Sunday we move into the full moon which is asking us to release. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on and you really need to find your balance making sure that you're doing self-love practices and you're actually taking that time out for yourself because you're definitely going to need it, especially coming into the full moon in Libra energies. So let's get cracking. So we are going to start today with the Angel Oracle from Dorian Virtue. Now, if this is your first time watching, this is just a general reading. So just take from this reading what feels best for you. The way that you will know how that looks like for you is that at the end of this reading, you're going to have something that's going to stick into your head. That's your divine message. And then that is what you need to take action on and implement for this week. So um, I hope this helps you out. All right, angels, whoa. Right, first thing that we need is to take action. And I feel like fresh air is amazing. <laughs> I need to take my own advice. I haven't been outside in two days. I've just been work, 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 and it's not good for my mental strength. Um, so this is just an, a little reminder to be like, okay, go outside, breathe in some fresh air, take your shoes off, ground yourself. Can you see? These two have no shoes. There's lots of green around. If you can lay down on the grass, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then you can do that. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and it's still snowing where you are, then just go outside for a walk and just breathe in some fresh air because um, that's totally going to help you. It says your body needs refreshment, refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So if any of you have indoor plants, and this is even more amazing, speaking of indoor plants, meet Basil. I have Basil one, two, three, four, and five. I've been collecting quite a lot of Basil recently because I've been making a lot of pesto. Oh my God. Loving it. All right, let's get another card from this deck. So, so far we need to go outside so we can find our balance. All right, what else do we need? It sounds simple, but it's like, do we actually do it? Especially if you work from home. Hmm, what else do we need to know? Oh, thanks very much. Perfect timing. Oh, this is awesome. Do you remember last week's reading? I think it had the first card we pulled was go for it. So the perfect timing is awesome because you guys are taking action coming into like Monday, Tuesday and part of Wednesday. And this is the perfect time to take inspired action on those beautiful manifestations that you have written down um, for the new moon, which is amazing. 
Okay, it says now is the perfect time for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while we work through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? It's just like she's totally vibrating on the frequency of love and she's full of green. Like look at all these hearts near her heart. Oh, that's just beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I love that. All right, let's get another card from this deck. So what, what are you guys working on at the moment? So interested to see. Or not see, read. <laughs> that one, that one, that one, that one. Come out. Life purpose. Did we have this card recently? I think we did. Okay, so you're taking... You need to go outside to balance your energies and then now is the perfect time to work on your life purpose, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe you are the teacher, maybe you are the student. It just depends. I feel like for me, I'm both at the moment. Like I'm teaching, but I'm also the student because I'm like, how the flip do you make a membership site? How do you collect payments? How do you set like when somebody signs up you can lock them in at this price and then within a week you could raise the price like, I don't know how to do that so it's like I'm the student and the teacher it's like you can be both but what it, what stage of the life life purpose are you at like what comes up as soon as you saw that card are you the teacher or are you the student it's like there's love all around it's like love heals all blockages it's like there is a, there's two types of like times there's a, he's sitting in front of a clock but then there's also like um the sand timer here i don't feel i feel like time is of the essence maybe that's why we got the perfect timing card now is the perfect time to act upon that maybe that's why we've seen the two cards before it's interesting because i've seen this card a million times and i've never really spoken about the timing aspect but today i feel drawn and also the windows are open at the back to give you like fresh air to help you breathe in oxygenated air. Oh, that's interesting. All of these things that I've never seen. It's so interesting. It's like sometimes you may listen to a song that you absolutely love. Like I used to love Pink's album. And then when I listened to it recently, I was like, oh my God, all these songs are so live vibrational. It's like at different times of your journeys, things mean different things to you, if that makes sense. All right, let's move on. This is Archangel Raphael. This is the healing deck from Doreen Virtue. And yeah, let's see what we need. So we've got fresh air, perfect timing and life purpose. Angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know? Acceptance. Ooh, okay, so this could be I am where I am and it's okay, or this could be accept help from other people if you're struggling, especially if you are the student in the, the Life Purpose card. Um, it says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, please help me accept that everything is going in the right direction. I feel like as we get into the full moon energies, things can get a little hairy for some of you. And I just want you to like, to just keep saying, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is always working out for my highest good. I trust the infinite love of the universe is always looking out for my highest, my highest self. It's like, he's so strong in his power. Like he's pretty damn good looking. He's like, yeah, like, yeah. he's just like, it's like he's proud of where he is. And it's like, I feel like when you have pure love and acceptance for where you are, it's so weird. I have a bird, a magpie just staring at me from the balcony at the window. And then I see like, he's got like this kind of colored wings, this bird that's just watching today's reading. <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like he's very strong in his power. And he's like, I feel like he's, his feet are, grand, um, um, not gr are grounded in like fertile soil. I feel like it's very, I feel like this help that is coming to you, it's going to help you find your balance. So if you're accepting offers for jobs, oh, it's a tricky one because we are in Mercury retrograde, which has to do with communication, travel, and electronics. Um, it's just like you really need to, um, I don't know, trust your intuition. How do you feel? 
during these times, if you're accepting, if, if offers come to you, like what's the first thought that comes into your mind? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, let's get further clarity on that card. Accept it. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, and then this card just came out, which is the sunlight card. So you really need to go outside and like, check out those abs, ladies. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just like, okay. But then he's got oranges with him. So orange is the soul, no, the sacral chakra, which is your creativity energy center. So that makes sense. Um, so it's like, yeah, I feel like the life purpose is definitely related to your creativity, like your strengths, what you love to do. Um, and eating higher vibrational foods as well is totally going to help you deal with this energy. So if you eat foods in a rainbow of the different seven chakras, you're going to be become more balanced in your life. Um, maybe in particular have more orange foods for this week. So maybe more oranges, more sweet potatoes. Um, I don't know, whatever's in season for you. I don't feel like there's really anything with that. Let me move on to the next deck. So, so far it's about getting fresh air, getting sunshine. Know that this is the perfect time for you to act upon your life purpose. Don't delay, everything's right for your success. And if you are offered contracts, accept them, which is so interesting because it's Mercury retrograde. Um, or it could be accepting where you are. It just depends on where you are because this is just a general reading. Anyways, this is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. And uh, let's see what we need to know. Clarity angels, please. Clarity. One card. Thanks very much. Happy ending. Okay, so this everything is working out for you. I feel like as we go into Sunday for the, the full moon in Libra, I feel like some of you... Um, going to be quite challenged. I just feel like you're just going to be a little bit challenged, but everything's working out for you. So you just have to trust as we, you know, Wednesday is all about trusting that everything's working out and whatever you feel like is just a little bit too much for you. You need to release it. I know there's a lot of you that have already purchased Forgiveness Heals, my guide of 30 minute visualization. You totally should listen to that at the time of the full moon. It will be extra, extra powerful. The full moon, let me just grab my notes. If you're in LA, then that's going to be at 5.26 a.m. I'll just pop it on the screen for you. If you're in New York, that's going to be 8.36 a.m. That's on the 31st. London, that's going to be 1.36 p.m. Um, Delhi, that's going to be 6.06 p.m. On the, all of these dates are on the 31st and Sydney that's gonna be 10 36 p.m. so we're all gonna be on the same day so yeah so those of you if you're in London then I would probably take like a lunch break around 1 o'clock and just I don't know if you have an hour lunch break or whatever but maybe just start writing down what you want to release during this time I'm sure you're gonna feel it bubble up to the surface and I'm sure you probably already felt it already in last week's crazy Pisces energy Anyway, so things are working out for you. Just, just trust it. All right, what do we need to know, angels? These cards are flying. Oh, shit, look at that. We just got the... Okay, so we're starting a new cycle. We finished the ending. So you're starting a brand new cycle. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So this new beginning is coming for this new perfect timing that you're acting on. You guys are starting a brand new chapter. Oh my God, how crazy is that? Yes. So whatever this thing that you are accepting, however that looks like for you, it's definitely related to the life purpose. I know for me, I'm actually looking for a part-time job, so I'm manifesting that it comes. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, let's get another one from this deck and then we'll move on to the Angel Tarot. Oh my gosh, you're starting a brand new chapter. Yes, guys, it's like a clean slate. You know why you're getting this clean slate is because you're no, there's, astrologically, there's a lot of um, Aries energy that will be coming through, which is the fresh stuff. We'll totally feel it come the new moon in Aries on April the 16th. What? 
right. Okay, personal growth. I think we had this last time too, as well as the patience card. Okay, so this personal growth is definitely coming with the life purpose. I don't feel like I need to say anything else with that. You guys are evolving on a different level because you are doing something, you're not doing the same things that you have always done because you're sick and tired of getting the same results. I feel like what you guys are doing now is you're doing something different. You're stepping out of your comfort zone into an area which initially is like a little uncomfortable. It's like being the, a new kid on the first day of school and you're like this sucks but you're like you know what I know that everything is working out for me I I surrender to the process and I set myself free because you know what the universe isn't going to give you something that you can't handle everything is a lesson you just need to acknowledge what that lesson is from this happy ending so you, you don't make that same mistake again but I feel a lot of you are like totally onto your self-love practices you're listening to my five minutes to bliss guided meditation that's on my free self-love starter kit you've gone through my self-love practices workbook and you're like okay what can I do to make today amazing? You know, how can I look after myself? You know, and on the full moon, you're actually listening to my guide of visualization. You spent the $9.99. Um, that's Australian dollars, by the way. You spent that money. You invested that into your self-love makeover. And as a result of this, this new beginning is coming as you are releasing anything that no longer serves you. And as a result, you guys are growing. You are becoming the greatest version of yourself. So celebrate that, my loves. Holy flip, that's massive. Anyways, this is the angel tarot from Dorin Virtually. Let's just see what we need to know from the tarot. One card, please, angels. What do my MK love them? Need to know. What do they need to know? God, I've got a bloody headache, that's for sure. Maybe this new beginning is a bit of a headache at the start because it's in retrograde energy. But just know whatever you're starting in retrograde, you're gonna be working three times as hard, but you're gonna get three times the results. So that's interesting. Okay, so we just pulled the Emperor card, which is a very, um, very disciplined kind of, almost regimented kind of energy, but it's like you need to invest in like structure around whatever this new life purpose is. Like how do you find your balance so that you don't become overwhelmed? Um, it's very much, it's very like masculine. Like can you see he's like got big muscles, he's got his arm folded, so he's not like a nurturing kind of energy. So some of you that actually may be like a, quite assertive energy that could actually come from like governments and jobs or very, it's not a nurturing energy, but it's very much an energy that we need to find balance in our lives. So that's quite interesting. And then the other card that fell out is the four of air, which as you can see, this horse needs to take some time to rest. And I feel like your life has become out of balance as you go from an ending to a new beginning. Um, you can become a little bit overwhelmed. That's what I'm feeling. So it says take take to rest or, no, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time for making a decision. Meditate may provide answers. So maybe this acceptance card that's gonna be coming up is like you really need to look within to see if that's the right thing for you. But however that looks, everything is totally working out for you. A lot of you are gonna be starting a brand new chapter, which I, I'm so excited to hear what, what that is for some of you. So let's just grab another card. I don't feel like we've got enough clarity. So it's like we've gotta go outside, get some sun, this is a perfect time to take action on our life purpose or creative project, whatever that looks like for you. Just know that everything's working out for you. You're finishing up a chapter, you're releasing everything that no longer serves you. This new chapter is gonna give you this personal growth and it's gonna take you to a place that you have wanted to go for a long time and now is the perfect time to act on it. But just know that this new chapter needs a lot of organization and structure so you can find your balance. Like. How do you fit in your self-love practices around this new chapter that you're doing? Because it's so important. And they're saying, okay, maybe just go to sleep a little bit earlier. I don't know, sleep in on the weekends. I don't know, how do, how do you look after yourself? All right, um, angels, can we have three cards just for the full moon, please? 
just three cards in particular to help us with the full moon in Libra, which this is very much a Libra energy, which is a leader, very much going into the Aries energy that we also were experiencing. Oh, okay, thanks. First card, Eight of Water, a desire to move on. Okay, well, that totally makes sense. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth, which is what we got there. Okay, so we've already said that. So the desire to move on is this new beginning that you guys are going through. Okay, so that's what the full moon is gonna be about, the desire to move on. As you can see, there's like eight cups under the water, but this uh, merman or mermaid are basically saying like, this doesn't serve me anymore. And it's like, yeah, like I think of it in terms of like when I used to be a primary school teacher and I left that because I was like, oh, that doesn't serve my highest good. You know, I'm good at what I do, but I would rather work for myself than work for somebody else. And I left that and it's like that desire to move on for something that's more fulfilling spiritually and emotionally. So that's what this new moon is going to be bringing up. Some of you could be actually walking away from relationships because the Libra energy is to do with relationships, love, peace and harmony. Um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Desire to move on could also be moving on from a house. I know some of you are actually moving. I feel like I'm moving. I want to move somewhere where I have internet. Like we only have like mobile internet here because this is a, a studio that is all the electric and the water is attached to our landlord that lives across the stairwell. And we can't get our own internet in here. I feel like we're moving. I'm manifesting. I feel like we're moving. It's like, where do we move further up north into Noosa? Do we, I move back home? Do we move to Ireland? Who knows what we're doing? Like it's, that's a lot on the table right now. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going with the flow. All right, the other card that we need to know for the full moon in Libra is, oh shit, the Hermit card. Okay, so you've got a lot of meditating to do. The, the hermit card is like taking time to reflect. You need to go deep within. So you really need to listen to Forgiveness Heals or any of my chakra guided meditations on my YouTube channel. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. If you are more of a people person and if you are brand new, like I mean brand spanking new to meditation and you just sit down and you're like, this is not working for me, have a look on meetup.com. This is not sponsored by the way. This is how I first got into meditation. I was actually telling Chrissy, Chrissy, if you're watching this video, this is about our email communication this week. And it, it's about like, if you go to a meetup group and you're meditating with other people, you take on the energy and that higher vibration of all of those beautiful souls around you and meditating in a group, oh my God, I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you can go to like, I don't know, I used to, when I lived on the Gold Coast, I actually have a vlog about this. I used to go to meditation in like a, um, in like a big silk. Like it looks like a big hammock that's suspended and you do yoga from it. Um, or I used to go to gong meditation when I lived in Brisbane. Oh my God, that was so good. Anyways, so if you can get to a meditation class, highly recommend that. Or meditate at home. If you've only got five minutes, listen to my five minutes to bliss. I listen to that and then I listen to the brand new meditation that I've made that I haven't thought of a name of yet. Um, that was amazing because I had a really powerful meditation to do. Today I was actually meditating for someone that um, was actually is actually in jail and I've never thought I'd ever have the opportunity to do that but it's so interesting and I really made sure I was doing my self-love practices because I was like I don't want to stuff this up this is this is every reading is important but I felt this one was extra important because of the circumstances so I meditated for like 35 40 minutes this morning before I got started and um, yeah so I, this is a perfect time guys to meditate you need to spend a lot of time internal internally and I think that's going to come up quite a lot when you're ex when this offer comes up to you um yeah we've had a lot to do with meditating and let's get one more card for the full moon well that just came out super quick oh really okay the seven of air this is a crazy card because you guys are going around in circles on the merry-go-round and it's like you need to break free from this crap and 
I, I feel like, see these two horses here? It's like they're breaking away. It's like, this doesn't serve me. This isn't going to where I need to go. And it's like, I want to break free. And it's like, plans need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. That's interesting because at the start of the week, we got the perfect timing. And then as we go into the full moon, it's like plans need revision. You guys need to meditate and find out what this means for you. I feel like there's a lot of this new chapter is going to really like rustle your feathers, but it's going to be amazing because it's ending a chapter that doesn't serve you. But I think you guys are going to be a little bit overwhelmed this week. That's why we got that this card here. Like you need to take time to rest. I have a sore throat from talking. But yes. Okay. Interesting. 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 So yeah, the full moon in Virgo energies is about you need to meditate a lot because you need to make an important decision because where you're going at the moment isn't serving you. You're like in la la land, you need to be like put on the right track, but the right track is coming. It's going to come through your meditation. If you have trouble listening to your intuition, then this is the perfect time to book yourself a private reading. So I can give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity and I can work through Oracle, Tarot and numerology cards, just like I do in this general reading, but I can do it, personalize it just for you and see where, if you need help and working out like, what's this new chapter for you? My angels can help give you that guidance. So if that's something that you would love to do, I would love to help you out. And yeah, a lot going on for you guys. Meditation is key. Going outside is key as well. And yeah, so meditating, a lot of meditating this week. Even if it's just five minutes a day, guys, five minutes a day can pay massive dividends like long term. I just feel like, you know, remember I said that this isn't like the brand new start. It's like, because that brand new start is coming for you um, from the new moon in Aries from April the 16th. So this is kind of getting, it's still like the recovery. You're still, last week's reading was called Recovery Bliss. And I still feel like you're still in that recovery because you haven't like, you're, you're getting ready to step into your power, but you're not there yet. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. Um... Yeah. All right. I need to have a drink of water. My throat's really, really sore. Maybe it's a throat chakra blockage because I feel like I need to have a drink. Hold on. That's what I prepared earlier. Maybe it's you speaking your truth. But your truth is going to come through meditating and I feel like that's super duper important. Anyways, my love, I hope that this gives you guidance and clarity for the week ahead. So this is from, let me check my notes, from March the 26th to the 31st. Let's do a quick recap. Remember, we begin the week in the action stage, which is the first quarter of the moon. Then as we go on to Wednesday, we're moving into trusting that everything is working out for your highest good. Come Sunday, this is when we are releasing everything that no longer serves us. That could be a relationship, that can be a career, that could be a house, that could be friends. It's mainly to do with relationships. Yeah. But yeah, this is all about finding your balance. This new balance, this new you, like this is good. Just think of this as a blessing in disguise when things get a little hairy. And um, yeah, if you need help, I highly recommend you book a reading. And uh, I'm gonna go. All right, I love you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Comment below, let me know what came up for you. I'll be responding to comments from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. I just bit my lip. Uh, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. All right, my love. And um, I'll chat to you in the comments. I love you. Goodbye. Have an amazing week.